Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael and I will be your point and click adventure today for Let's Play The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. This is my very first video ever on this channel so I'm very excited about this. So I'd really appreciate if you can give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe if you are into point and click adventure games because that's what this channel is all about. So I thought I'd kick off uh, the, the very first Let's Play with Probably, probably my favourite game of all time. It's split between this and Monkey Island 2, actually. Um, so Monkey Island is a, a point click adventure game about Guy Rush Street the Pirate. So, unlike a lot of Let's Play games, I obviously have played this many, many, many times. Um, I haven't really played it in the, uh, the you know, the, the newer graphics. Whenever I do play it, I tend to press F10 and play it through as in the old school pixelated version, which, in my opinion, is um, you can't beat. But I thought let's give the special edition a go because it's got the uh, it's got great um, animations, it's got the voice cast. Uh, so yeah, we'll see we'll see how it goes. Um, as I said, I have played it lots of times, so I know what I'm doing. But it's not going to be a speed run kind of walkthrough. So I'm not going to do A to B to C because that's boring. I am going to go and investigate places as if I was playing it for the first time so I'll be going down dialogue trees that doesn't really matter but it does flesh out each character and um, yeah that's um, that's it really so let's crack on with uh, episode one I adore this pixelated graphics doesn't it send chills down the spine Gorgeous, gorgeous. They've done a brilliant job with the uh, with this special edition, the updated graphics, as they did with the second one as well. So every now and again, I will be pressing F10 because you can get back to the uh, the original edition or almost the original edition, not the not the 1990 October edition. Was that November? I don't know. Um, but you have the you have the one when when you, you can see the uh, the icons of the of the inventory rather than just the words, but it's it's all the same in the actual in the actual story part, the actual graphic screen. If you are interested in playing along with this, I do actually have a link in the uh, in the top of the description there, which will take you to the fanatical site. And you can download not only Monkey Island Special Edition, but it comes with Monkey Island 2 Special Edition as well. So you get two games, and both of them can be played in Special Edition form, and also the old school form. So if you click on that, it takes you to the Fanatical website. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Good luck, Guybrush. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. The right. Scum Bar. Thanks. Part one. Trials. It is split up into um, three parts, I think. Was it four? Can't actually remember. We will find out. <coughs> Look at these beautiful, beautiful graphics. And that sea and the moon. Well done, LucasArts. Right. Um, I'm just quickly going to press F10 to show you what it did look like in the olden days and the actual scum engine. Um, Scum, what does Scum stand for? Scripts Utility for Maniac Mansion, is that right? So Maniac Mansion was one of the very first LucasArts uh, point-and-click adventure games. 
Uh, in fact, it was the first point-and-click adventure game from Lucasfilm Games, and they um, they had to create their own their own system. Um, so let's press F10 here, and you'll see normally you go look at look at poster and uh, re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Now, obviously, in this old version, there is no voice acting, so let's go back to this. And as you can see, there is no look at pick up any of that stuff over here. So if I press control, it brings up this. And if I press, is it alt? It is alt. It brings up my inventory, which is nothing. I am penniless at the minute, and my pockets are empty. So if we have a look at this. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. And I must say, I, I love the, the voice acting. Dominic Armato, who plays um, plays Guybrush, he plays him throughout the games. And that's another thing, before I, before I crack on with this, I am a massive fan of Monkey Island 1 and 2, because I grew up with those two games. Um, I've only actually played The Curse of Monkey Island, which is Monkey Island 3, once, and that was around about 2003, 2004-ish, so I can't remember hardly anything, and I haven't touched um, Escape from Monkey Island or Tales of Monkey Island, which is Monkey Island 4 and 5. But on this channel, I will be playing through the entirety of them. So Monkey Island 1 and 2 is going to be more of a investigative, you know, I know what I'm doing, but I'm going to go around and do other things anyway. But from Monkey Island 3 onwards, I don't know what I'm doing. And you're going to be finding out as I find out. Um, anyway, let's mosey on. Right, let's find the scum bar. Lovely ships there. Here we are. Right, open, open door. There we go. It's a classic scene. It sends shivers down my spine. It really does. I've got to press F10. Got to. Look at it. Gorgeous. Right, that's less. That's F10 for a while. And the music as well. Well done, Michael Land. Uh, right, as I said, I'm not going to do A to B because you don't really need to speak to any of these pirates if you know what you're doing. But it fleshes out the story, so I'm going to speak to pretty much who I want to. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? Mm. Excuse me, I am having a coffee because I'm very cold in this house. Uh, are you a pirate? Can I be on a crew? Are you a pirate? Can I be on your crew? Well, I am a pirate. But alas, I'm not a captain. You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Alright, I will do that. Um. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Excuse me? Oh my Guybrush, what's your name then? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. <laughs> I prefer Guybrush. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Why not? Why not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. How's that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next. But I don't believe a word of it. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. Melee Island TM. Of course it's all trademarks. Right, Esteban, look at that dude up here. Yeah, he gets dizzy. Right, you can talk to that one there, I know. Let's see what it says about these guys. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. I think that is true. I don't want to bother them. He doesn't want to bother them. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. 
What are you looking at me for? Ooh. What's happened to his eyes? I don't want to use my help. My name's Guybrush. Who's this pirate we're gonna go in there? Excuse me, I'm looking for Dark Board. Right, let's see I'd like who to we introduce are. myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? Who's this pirate that's bugging the governor? Lechuk. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did! And oh, then things right. really got ugly. What's so scary about this Lechuk guy? Lechuk was a fierce pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. Even no survivors. We thought that, that was the end of the fearsome pirate, the Chuck. We were wrong. We were wrong. That's quite scary. What happened? What happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Uh, what happened to your eye? Should we ask? Pretty really gruesome. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... <laughs> hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Alright, um... Where drink. can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Alright. I don't Sorry to bother you. Bye. Right. Uh, let's go and talk to this gentleman right here. Can I? Oi. Oi. And his hat says Cobb, and it says, ask me about Loom. And if you guys know what Loom is, it's another LucasArts game. Nice hat. Oi. Oi. Hi yourself. Oi. Oi. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, Objects and magic spells? <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today! Wow. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. <laughs> nice talking to you. Hi. Very good. So Cobb is actually capturing Loom as well. Love it. Right, let's talk to this dog. Oh, he looks pretty mean. I'm pretty sure he looks a lot different. In F I'm tempted to press F. I'm just going to press F10 quickly. Oh dear, it's gone. Oh, you don't even see. A, you don't even see a close up. I thought you did. Maybe it's in another version. Press F10 again. Woof. 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 Melee Island. Melee Island. <laughs> it's a pretty grizzly dog. Look at that slobber. Spiffy. Wow. 
So Governor Marley, the Chuck, and Monkey Island. Right, so let's head to the almost private quarters in the scum bar and talk to the important looking pirates. What be ye what, boy? I want to be a fireman! <laughs> when I first played that back in 1991, I think I played it with my sister on the Amiga 500 Plus, I think it was. Um, that was the funniest line I've ever heard. I went all the way to a pirate bar and say, I want to be a fireman. I have to, I have to say it. I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy, you bother us. <laughs> oh, I have to touch him again. What be ye what, boy? I mean to kill you all. I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You can, a whole ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three, three trials. The three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. The quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Grog! Right, so we have to master the sword, master the art of thievery, and master treasure. Country. Let's, let's ask about what we actually need to do. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. Ha <laughs> 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 Sword Master sounds quite uh, quite hard. Right, tell me so, about the uh, mastering the art of thievery. Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. Idol of many In hands. In the governor's mansion. You have to rob the governor. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious boy. You might be able to drug him or something. Drug the guard dogs. Right, sword. Tell me about pilfering the idol. That's fine about Tell treasure. Tell me more about hunting. treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Lost treasure of Melee Island. Should I trademark? have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> X always marks the spot. It's a pirate game. Pirate films, pirate programs. There's no X, there's no treasure. Alright, I'm just gonna insult you now. You're a bunch of foul smelling grog swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul smelling grog swilling pig. Lovely. So we ask what's in the grog. What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. 
kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, bread dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. Why do you drink it then? The stuff eats right through these mugs and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> right, I think we're done here. So we have to master the sword, pull for the idol and I'll just find be some running treasure. now. Leave us to our grog. Leave us to Come our back grog. Come later and tell us how you're doing. They all seem very wobbly. Very drunk. Alright, let's quickly have a look at the fire. Cozy. It is cozy, isn't it? Alright, now we'll try and open the store and get in the kitchen. Hey! You can't come back here! Not allowed in there. Right. So I'm actually surprised I haven't seen the chef right now, because he does come out. So I want to hang around just for a minute just to see. There he is. Now if I try and go in whilst he's there, he'll stop me. So we have to go out of the picture. And then we go in. I'm gonna have a look what's in here. Oh, lovely. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. Meat like substance. I think if I press P, yeah, there's a short link to pick up. A pot. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. I have no idea what a head cheese is. What's a head cheese, everyone? Let me know what a head cheese is in the comments. Is it an American thing? Because I'm obviously not American. Pick up pot of stew. It's boiling hot. Okay, I won't do that then. Oh, darn seagull. Let's pick it up. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Kick it. Can I kick the bird? No. So what I'll do... Is pump him in the air. There you go. Come on, guy brush. Pick up quickly. Can I do it? Can I do it quick? Got it. <laughs> he's like, where's my fish gone? Where's it gone? I'm going to go. And he's off. He's off to the world of loom. Although he's not a swan. Right, um, let's have a look. What's this green stuff on the floor? Look at barrel. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirates drink. Shall we see if we can fill our bowl with it? Someone cooked a head cheese in this. Right, I think I have to click U for use and then use with barrel. I don't want that much. Which is a bit finickety. Like, but, you know, does the job. Right, I think we're uh, drawing to the, uh, the close of episode one. So we'll just um, we'll just uh, mosey on this way. Step out the door. So we've got to find the swordmaster of Melee Island. We've got to steal the idol of many hands, and we've got to find some treasure, and then come back here and show everything to the pirates and drink grog with them. And then we're we're a pirate, officially a pirate. Meanwhile. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate awesome Lechuck graphic. ship lies anchored in a river of the lava. the best theme tune as well. Captain Lechuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> Uh, Look at that sir, red glow. I. It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Trademark. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. He's a pirate I was about to say, I'm not a pirate. Not yet, anyway. Inexperienced. 
probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Ooh. He looks like a mean mother baddie. Scary Lechuk. Right, so Lechuk is about to stop me somehow, I guess. Uh, right, we'll leave, we'll leave episode one there. And like I said at the start, this has been my very my very first video ever. So um, we'll look back on this in many years and go and laugh. But in the meantime, I would, I would love it if you would uh, give it a like and a subscribe. Because it all helps with the algorithm, apparently. Being new to YouTube, I'll find all that stuff out. But uh, yeah, anyway, my name has been Michael for Yak Wax Lips. And um, thanks for watching.